This is this is all. Yeah. Okay. You ready for me? Woo. <laughs> I'm Christine Meredith Flaherty, aka K Flay, and it has been one year since Solutions came out. Can you believe it? Time flies when you're in a pandemic and struggling with your mental health every day. Can you give me a big thumbs up? To me. What was the first song on Solutions? The first song on Solutions is called I Like Myself Most of the Time. It's in parentheses. It's getting a hug. So don't think of them as an aside. It's actually the part of the sentence that's getting squoze. Would you say that's the most important part of the sentence or just the most vulnerable? I'd say it's the most vulnerable part of a sentence. It's the part of a sentence that's having a hard time and needs a hug. So I Like Myself started as a song called I'm Okay With Me. Interestingly, I just recently revisited this. I sent JT, who's my collaborator and used to, some of you guys might know, used to play in the band with us. I sent him this idea and the chorus, the, the verse was the verse, like everybody wants to be the girl, that thing. But then it went, I'm okay with me. No change is necessary, which is not true. Many changes are necessary, but that was the spirit of the song. And then I went to Nashville and worked on it with him changed it. Change is necessary. I think most of the time I do like myself. The times when I don't like myself are harrowing and intense and very overwhelming. But um, yeah, I wanted, I wanted to start the record with this like, you know what? Most of the time I'm fucking okay. I'm like not the worst. I have made many mistakes and have lots of room for improvement. I have a dining room for improvement, a living room for improvement, a bedroom for improvement, an attic and a basement. How many bathrooms for improvement? I have that? six bathrooms for improvement. What was the second song on the album? <laughs> I don't know what the second song is. I forget the track listing. It's possible it's this baby. I think it's Bad Vibes. <laughs> Should we check? Yeah, let's check. I can't. I'm shooting this video. I mean, I know the one you use for the internet and Your stuff like that. Work. Right. Okay. Here we go. Bad vibes. That's right. Okay, right. I like myself most of the time. So this was the whole thing. I get it now. I remember. I remember how it goes. So I like myself most of the time was supposed to be this kind of, we establish, okay, I'm, I'm reckoning with myself and I'm trying to have a little bit of acceptance. And then I start setting the scene for like my resilience. Bad vibes. I also wrote in Nashville, Tennessee with... Tommy English, who I've, I work on tons of stuff with, and I'm actually in his studio right now. We wrote it in Nashville, and the whole idea was, wouldn't it be cool if the whole song was just an octave? Bad vibes, bad times. It's basically like one note, which is easy for someone like me, who's not the best, the best singer in the world, um, to remember. I'm like, bad, what's the other note? Five, <laughs> bad. I think you're selling yourself short. <laughs> I am probably selling myself short. Bad vibes is about people, when you're out with people or you're interacting with people and they just have this negative energy where they just wanna talk shit about things and they, they wanna be sort of unshakably cynical, which I, I appreciate cynicism and I think it's very important, but I also think I'm a naturally kind of buoyant person and I think it's important to be open to the possibility of hope and laughter and happiness. <laughs> What's your favorite song to play live? My favorite song to play live is Not in California. That's also my favorite song on the album. I don't know, I just think it's good. I really like it. Um, I find it very satisfying to hear and to sing. You know, it's a song that is about this feeling of like, you wake up. I mean, I live in California. California for me, I didn't grow up here, was always this like beacon of 
American idealism, like, you know, beaches and mountains and it's liberal and Hollywood and all this other stuff. And I think there's this feeling, especially after Donald Trump was elected, like, and I mean, just in general, I th you know, we're having this collective reckoning about how the United States is a, is a brutal and deeply unjust place to live. But yeah, you wake up and you're like, wait, this is California? Like, why is there trash everywhere? Why is a horrible celebrity our president? Why, you know, all this stuff. And I think I was personally reckoning with that. And then I was at this studio next to the Pacific Ocean, next to the Redwoods. So in this like totally ideal nature spot. Just thinking like, what? We're destroying this? Corporate, giant corporations are destroying the environment so they can make more money. And all of us are kind of complicit because we're just trying to get by. Ugh. Ugh. What's the sixth song on the record? The sixth song is Good News because that's the start of side B. Forecasters saying more bad with it, but they don't know nothing. Don't know never. Don't know nothing. Don't know. I wrote that, that verse six years ago. Six and a half years ago. It was originally a song called The Shakes. And the chorus was, I got the shakes. Everything is broken, but I'm great. I got the shakes. But I always really liked that, that verse rhythm. I thought it was really good. I kind of forgot about it, obviously, because I wrote it six years ago. And then I was actually, I was right here in this studio and remembered it and was like, let's start it. And then we wrote a million different versions of the chorus. And then one, another, a different day I came in and I said to Tommy who I was working with, I was like, man, I could use some good news. And then I paused and I was like, let's write a song about that. And then he was like, I think you already did write a song about that. What's your parents' favorite song on the record? Oh Do man, you? my parents. I think their favorite song is DNA. What is DNA about? DNA is about my biological dad. I have two dads. They're both named Tom, which is confusing. Well, it's not that confusing to me, but it's confusing to others. It's about my biological dad. And I think it's about, and all of us, I think all of us consider this, you know, the extent to which, you know, nature versus nurture. Like, are you, are you gonna repeat the sort of mistakes and successes of the past, or are you gonna blaze your own trail? Like, are you, are you kind of beholden to your genetic makeup? And I think I've thought about that a lot because my biological dad didn't have a huge role in raising me and then died. And my other dad, who isn't biologically related to me, you know, was my primary father. So it's just, to me, it's a real like nature nurture experiment uh, in life. You are my ice cream. You make my brain freeze. I wrote that song. Bum, 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 bum. I was in Nashville and I just came up with that line and I just started singing, you, you are my, I mean, obviously I don't know what key it's in. I thought it was so cute. Like you are my ice cream, you make my brain freeze. Because sometimes that's what love can feel like. It's like great but it can hurt too. It can paralyze you for a moment. And if you drink it too fast, if you drink love too fast, your brain will freeze. Are you proud of the record? I am proud of the record. I'm really proud of it. I think the biggest challenge that I gave myself with this record was to create something that felt bright and hopeful. And historically, a lot of my music has been mm, a little more angsty and heavy and dark, which is important too, but I, I did want to have like a tone shift. And I think tone shifts can be hard. So I think I achieved that. So I'm proud. I mean, honestly, I'm proud of anyone who, who does anything creative and puts it out into the world. Cause it's kind of scary not to pat myself on the back, but I guess all I'm saying is if you're thinking of putting something out into the world, just do it. Cause there's so much shit anyway that like 
you know, may, you may as well. 